Yeah, 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 yeah. This is Sai One. I'm here with El Fresh, aka The Lion. We're just about to go rehearsals for our first performance here in Perth. Uh, we're on at 3.30 today at the festival. And um, so El Fresh, what's, what do you got to say about today, bro? Just looking forward to it, bro. I mean, there's a lot of hard work and effort has gone into us being ready for this type of show. Um, and we've been putting in months of hard work and effort. And today's the day, or the first day of many, for us to show show the country that that we're ready to be on the same level as everybody else in the country. Um, and we have been for a while. It's just now that we have we have we've been given the opportunity to showcase that to the rest of the country. So for us, it's a matter of you know um, just getting up there and showing the country what we can do. So we had a you had a little uh, semi run through yesterday at another little hip hop festival. Um, how'd that go? And how was the response? How was the crowd's response to to your performance? Well, it was a good it was a good little event, man. In the heart of the city, um, the hip hop dudes from from Perth and in the local area just came out and did like a little event. Um, which was pretty cool. Um, I haven't seen that in Sydney before. And so we got up and we did um, 360, the first track that we come out on here in Perth. Um, and and we, we got some pretty good responses. We got people doing the 360 degrees and thing, which you guys will see later when we show you at the show. But um, all in all, it was a good response and we're just excited um, and hope Perth can um, embrace us like they did yesterday. Well, I spoke to a few of uh, Perth's local uh, hip hop artists, some of the finest in Perth, and some of the responses that I heard yesterday was, you know, Fresh is really ready for the big league, mate. You know what I mean? What would you say about that? Um, I consider myself ready, um, and for me, you know, um, for those for, for people um, who are well respected and, ha and have been around for a while to say that means a lot. Um, you know, we got to see Hunter yesterday, well respected MC out of Perth. Um, and you know he got us up during his set for us to do that thing so it was real nice of him um, to do that um, and you know for me and, and I know for us at the street uni it's sort of like you know we have been ready and now you know the rest of the nation and the world pretty much is going to see it um, so for them to say it you know it means a lot um, but it's something that you know we sort of knew so um, regarding the street uni what, what sort of um role as a street uni played in, in you being able to fulfill these goals? Well, the street uni has been a platform desperately needed for myself and for many others. Um, you know, it came about at the start of this year, but even before that I was out there um, just trying to do what I can to help out. Um, and the street uni itself is, is a place of, of, of culture emerging and forming and the development of a movement which is, you know, spreading across the nation as, we have, as we're going to see today and throughout the next week. But um, you know, if it wasn't for the street university, we wouldn't be here. Um, you know, just the recognition that, you know, the street uni has received. People have, you know, offered us this opportunity to come out and, and do something on this type of level. So, um, you know, if it wasn't for the street university, straight up, uh, hands down, we wouldn't be here. So what about hip operation in, in uh, alongside with Obese and all these sort of other record labels? How do you think hip operation is going to um, be able to compete sort of in this Australian hip hop market? Well, I think what we have is, is very different to what a lot of other labels currently have. And that's not to say that, you know, what other labels are doing is bad or wrong. Um, it's just to say that we're bringing something that hasn't been heard before. Um, you know, we're, we're coming from a level where people sort of haven't ventured before um, in saying that, you know, we've taken people like... Um, you know, all from, from the Liverpool area, um, who probably never would have been given the opportunity to come up, um, but who have massive amounts of talent um, and, a, and a unique sound um, because people haven't been in that area and tried to find talent before. Um, and so I think in terms of competition, um, you know, we're knocking on the door of competition uh, for the rest of the country. Not in a bad way, I don't think it's like, you know, we're not trying to get up there to knock everybody else out. Um, we just want to get up there and share and share the fun um, and share the, the um, you know what the industry and, and what Australia uh, and, and music and hip hop has to offer in the country. There's been words going around that um, you know not many not many artists from Australia Australian hip hop really make it in in the US. 
um, because the US is the dominating factor in, in, in hip hop um, production in the world. But there's words going around that maybe um, El Fresh could be very marketable in that in that US market. What do you think about that, bro? Um, I just take it in stride and take it as I go. Um, if that's what the world has an offer for me, if that was, if that's what God God has laid down for me, then I'll take it um, and just and just run with it. Um, you know, for me, this music thing has always just been about taking it wherever it can take me. You know, um, it feels like it's out of my control to some extent because I just do what I love to do, and then um, you know whatever comes out of it just happens to happen. You know. Um, and, and it feels like there's somebody or something out there that's playing that, that card for me. And I believe that's God, um, you know, just laying out that path for me. Um, so if I happen to be able to, you know, crack the US market or wherever it may be over the world, then um, it's just a blessing and I'll take that. Well, I, you know, I think it's pretty realistic to think that because Punjabi MC is one of those other MCs that has cracked that market. You know what I mean? And, you know, just personally on my, on my point of view, Nothing, nothing to, to say, nothing bad about anybody else, but your stuff is so intellectual that people from all over the world can can relate to your stuff, man. So for me, Sai so One from the Street University, I'm honored to be on this ride with El Fresh. Um, what do you think about jumping on the stage with some of the biggest names in hip hop, bro? What do you think about that, man? Like you were saying, you're a little bit nervous, but you know, nerves are a good thing, you were saying. Yeah, Talk about that a little a, bit. It's, it's, it's a humbling feeling. Um, you know, to be um, on the same stage as, as some of the greatest to ever to have ever done this this hip hop thing. Um, and like I was saying, yeah, of course I'm nervous, man. Like I'll be on the same stage as dudes I've, I've grown up um, listening to, like Nas and that. Like you know, J Five, um, Supernat, Q. Like it's 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 real humbling to know that um, you know they brought me out to be on the same stage as them. Um, I must be doing something right. Um, you know, um, and on the aspect of the nerves, you know, nerves is just something that fuels me to keep going. Um, you know, um, and I'm sure everybody um, sort of feels the same. You know, it's what brings that added element, and that's why we perform. You know, it gives us a thrill that um, that nothing else else in life can sort of give us, um, and nerves play a part of that role. What do you got? you got to learn any message for the young kids out there trying to come up and trying to make it? Just keep doing. What, whatever it is you're doing. I mean, if you love the music and you love the art, then it doesn't matter how far you get. You know, um, a wise man named Sai Wan once told me that, um, you know, if you touch one person with your music, you know, that is enough. You know, that, that means you've made a difference to someone, someone's life out there. Um, and, you know, just keep doing it. If you love it and, and you show your heart and your passion when you're on stage, other people will recognize that. Um, and like I was saying before, you know, when you, you do something that you love and you cherish, um, not looking for, not, you know, explicitly looking for, you know, um, an outcome um, to some extent, then, you know, things just fall into place, especially if you, you feel like you're doing the right thing. How important to you is it um, in keeping your identity and being, making sure that you're being yourself throughout this whole thing? very important um, you know a lot of people these days um, when they talk about the hip-hop industry and the way it's going emphasize the importance of originality um, and being unique because that's what makes a person stand out and for me I feel like my identity and who I am um, you know propels me to that level because I you know when I look around the hip-hop industry in the world I don't see anyone like myself out there doing what doing what you know I'm doing and that's not to say there's no other Sikh rappers and stuff like that out there, there's tons, but I just feel like bringing my own character, bringing my own self to the world, um, you know, lets me be original and, and helps me stand out. Um, and it's taken me to where I am now, you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't be here if I was trying to be somebody else. I got picked because of who I am. Um, and for me, you know, that's why I hold that to be very important. You know, the finding and exploration of self and the whole process of creating music and, 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 and you know, living life in general is a very important thing. Um, and, and, and that's what helps a person grow to be who they are and it helps a person develop who they are. Do you consider yourself a role model for young Sikhs? No, I don't consider myself a role model. Um, you know, people might, might see me that way, but, but I, I don't consider myself to be a role model. Um, you know, 
I myself, when it comes to learning from other people and stuff like that, I look up to a lot of people, but um, I don't consider them to be role models. I just take what I can from them and I hope people can do the same with me. Any quick shout outs before we go? Shout out to the Street Uni fam. And there's probably some of them out the door at the moment. Um, shout out everyone back in Liverpool. Vote two. The one and only. Mr. Clash, so. producer extraordinaire. And shout out to the country, man. Shout out to the country. Awesome. Get ready. Well, this is Sai Wan from the Street Uni. Peace to all those kids coming up. Yeah, but, uh, we out. Jay, Jay.